This video is brought to you by Optin Monster. Use Optin Monster to convert and monetize your website traffic and grow your email list. Just click on the link in the description below to get started. The first 200 people to use the coupon code WPBVIP will get 25% off Optin Monster. In this video, I'll show you two different methods you can use to display announcements for your WordPress website. Announcements are a super great way to either showcase a quick sale or just to announce to everybody who's coming to your site something important that you want to share with them. So let's get started with how to do that. The first way we're going to do it is by adding Optin Monster to our WordPress website. So you want to head over to Plugins, Add New. We'll be looking for Optin Monster. If you don't already have this, this is how you add it. We'll go ahead and install this now. And then once you install it, go ahead and activate it. Once it's activated, it'll ask you to connect or get Optin Monster now. So decide on how you want to get it. And don't forget about the link in the description below. We'll authorize Optin Monster. If you already have Optin Monster, it's a super easy way to authorize it and bring everything over. Now that it is installed on the website, you want to click Create Campaign and it'll open up where we can get started. For this one, we want to do a floating bar and you can choose to either have the floating bar go at the top or at the bottom. And scrolling down, you also see there are some other ways that you can look at this for goal-driven items. Say a time-sensitive thing, you could also do a countdown on the floating bar to showcase time sensitive of the sale or of the information that you're sharing. For this one, we will choose just the boost one and we can use this as the template. From here, you'll want to name it. This is just for you. And then select the site that you want it to go on. By default, you'll probably have one. If you don't have any, it'll ask you to create one. And then let's start building this. From here, we can design it and change all the information here can change all this information that you want. If you don't want that, you can click delete. Can change how you want this to look here. We want to get their name and their email address, but if you click on this, you can choose how you want this to look here. And we can change the color if we want here as well. Once you're done with setting it up, how you want it to look, then you can also choose where you want it to go. Under floating settings, you can choose to have the floating bar at the top of the page or at the bottom. By default, it'll be on the bottom if this is turned off. From here, you can choose to have the display rules and when you want it to go. If you want this as an announcement, you can choose to just have it on any page at all times. Next, you'll want to do integrations. This is only important if you're doing setup for email. You could also remove all of this and simply add an announcement here of whatever you want the announcement to be and you don't even have to do the sign up. But while we're here, you can go ahead and set up an email integration. Or if you don't have an email service provider yet, then you can just have Monster Leads collect the leads and it'll collect locally to your Optin Monster account until you're ready to set up your email account. So I'll leave it with Monster Leads for now. Once you've set up the integration, you'll if you want to also watch the analytics, you can connect your Google Analytics to this so you'll know how this Optin is doing. And then finally, when we're ready to publish, we'll go ahead and click on the publish and click on the status of live. And let's go ahead and save our settings. Now that all of that has been created, we can go back to our WordPress dashboard and we'll scroll down to refresh campaigns. And now we see the announcement is come over and it is live by default. So what we can do is open it up into a new tab and see this in action. So now it's a great way to do a quick announcement for anybody who comes on your site. They'll get this announcement immediately and you'll know that everybody is seeing that. Now the second method you can use, you can also display announcements in WordPress using simple notices and that is another plugin. So let me show you how that works. We'll go back to our dashboard. So we'll start with our dashboard and what we we'll want to do is install and activate another plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new. From here, you can type in simple notices. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click install now. Once you install it, you want to also make sure that you stick around to activate the plugin. Now that it's activated, you'll see this notices area over here. We can click on that and we'll click add new to create a notice. From here, just fill out the information and you can fill it out however you want. Add a hyperlink if you want here to any, you can do a, any link that you want there. 
And when you have it set up however you want, go ahead and click publish. And now when we go to view our site, you'll see the special announcement that is up at the top. Now, by default, that is bringing in the color scheme for my theme. So yours might look a little bit different. And you may also need to add a little bit more CSS to make yours look a little bit different. But those are two simple and easy to use methods to do announcements for your WordPress website. And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.